So today Russian Il-76 military transport aircraft was shot down. It was completely legitimate military target. So let's talk about what is known so far. And if some new information appear, I will make an update video. The plane crashed in the Belgorod region around 11 in the morning. And here you can see a frame from the video taken by witnesses. The initial message that appeared in Russian informational space, it suggested that the plane was shot down by Russia's own air defense. Like A-50 plane was shot down, as they said, by their own um, air defense, well, a week ago, probably. Uh, then the focus sharply shifted to the Ukrainian air defense, shooting it down, with the claim that there were Ukrainian prisoners on board that were brought by Russian, preparing for, for exchange them uh, for Russian prisoners. And here is the frame from the video taken by the witnesses. It is the same frame. It is the frame from the same video as this one, and it is showing the you know this puff, and it is most probably the trace from the anti-aircraft missile. The first images from the crash site did not show a large number of bodies. Compare it to the MH17 disaster where wreckage and bodies, they were covering the entire field. Or even compare it with the business jet of Evgeny Prigozhin, which was much smaller and which uh, with fewer passengers. The first images from that crash, from Prigozhin's jet, they al already included passenger remains. And it is also evident that the plane was not landing, but it was taken off from Belgrade. And how can you bring prisoners for exchange to Belgrade if you are leaving it? And uh, then Margarita Simonian appeared with a list of prisoners for exchange, including Ukrainian soldiers who had been already exchanged on the January 3rd. Then uh, there, there appeared information from uh, open source intelligent analysts that they confirmed that the uh, Il-76 plane was a uh, plane with uh, number RA-788-30 RA and it was flying from Russia, uh, it was flying to Russia via Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and Iran, and it was it disappeared from radars in the Syrian region, and then reappeared near Belgorod. And it was very strange route for transporting Ukrainian prisoners. All that is known that this same aircraft actively participated in the so-called Iranian Express. Then question arose regarding the. Russian statement that 65 prisoners were on board with only three guards. This is critically low for such a number of prisoners and it is completely wireless protocol. And also we have a um, statement from, from one of our prisoners who was exchanged previously and he was also brought to Belgorod, you know, uh, some time ago uh, before the exchange from Bryansk. And there, there were 50 people in their plane, and these 50 people were guarded by at least 20 guards from Russian military police, and not three guards for, for 65 prisoners. There were 50 prisoners and at least 20 guards. So they are also telling bullshit here in this story as well. Then five hours after the Il-76 crash, a new video appeared from the crash site showing a piece of the fuselage with shrapnel damage. Um, so it was confirming that it was, the, it was a missile strike. However, even after five hours, the bodies of the uh, alleged diseased Ukrainian prisoners were not shown. So. Tell you what, if they had bodies, that would be the first thing they would show. So, 
let's uh, recap what is known again. So, IL-76 crashes within 20, 20 seconds after an uh, explosion in the air. The plane was shot down during takeoff from Belgrade. So, how can you bring prisoners for exchange to Belgrade if you already live in it? Clearly, we can see that the aircraft, I, I'm not showing the video here, but on the video, in the video you can clearly see that aircraft is structurally intact, with wings, with tail, fully intact, all in uh, place, and it is uh, descending, descending in a straight trajectory, tilting uh, to the side. On the ground, a large detonation occurs. Photos from eyewitnesses at the scene show fragments of the fuselage scattered into pieces uh, after a very powerful uh, detonation. There are no bodies. Obviously, the aircraft was carrying something explosive and the detonations occurred on the ground. Russians then initiated the propaganda of killed prisoners because they are alarmed by the number of their of the heavy aircraft losses in the past weeks. Recall uh, that after the loss of uh, A-50 and damage of the Il-22, the Russians had to shift the routes of the subsequent um, A-50 aircraft a couple of hundred kilometers to the east, which significantly worsened the quality of uh, their reconnaissance information from this aircraft. And, for example, they can no longer cover their forces in the Kherson region. So, likely, with each subsequent crashed aircraft, the Russians will increasingly be fabricating uh, propaganda. And also, I can tell you that uh, Bel Belgorod is no flight zone now. I'm sure that it was our um, missile that shot down this uh, U-76. And uh, if there were, for example, prisoners on board, it is on Russians. Because previously, they were always, before the exchange, they were informing our side that there are um, prisoners on board of this aircraft. This time they were not doing that, most probably because there were no prisoners of bo on board of this Il-76. And all this is Russian propaganda. All in all, uh, the real culprits are Russians in everything that is happening, because this is all the result of uh, their aggression. If they were not attacking Ukraine, Nothing would happen. This uh, Il-76 would be flying, doing, you know, some transport jobs for Russian uh, Federation. So, have a nice day. If uh, a new, any new information will occur, I will do a, an update video. And uh, have a nice day, as I already told you, and Slava Ukraini.